It's the Mark Man Show live from the lobby of the Hotel Paradise. It's clobbering time! Ben is out. Byron Leftwich is out. Lamar Woodley is out. Mike Adams is out. Willie Colon and Jericho Cotri are questionable. Antonio Brown, Casey Hampton, Max Starks, and Troy Pulamalu are probable. The Steelers are eight-point dogs at Baltimore. Yikes. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of Ben, or at least a reflection thereof. Dick LeBeau says Troy might only see limited snaps. The more, the better. I can't see a downside. Troy at 90%, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You got to have that guy in there. I listen to other radio shows, and I hear nonsense like, Pride is going to take over. The Steelers will rise to the challenge. Yo. Steelers plus eight. Steelers plus eight people. And I bet they don't cover. I also hear people say, Baltimore's not that good. Well, they are nine and two. It's a quiet nine and two, but nine and two is nine and two. I also hear people say, Flacco's not that good. That I agree with somewhat. Flacco's QB rating is fourth in the league. That's mediocre. But he protects the ball and manages the game. Flacco's not elite, but he's not chopped liver either. He's better than Charlie Batch. You know who's having one hell of a season? Lawrence Timmons. His game has become so diverse. That's one guy who has really turned a corner. I heard another show today. The host said, I want you to call the show and tell me what scenario has to occur for the Steelers to win at Baltimore with Charlie Batch at quarterback. In that vein, I want you to do exactly the opposite. If you have a scenario a theory, a way the Steelers could beat Baltimore with Batch at quarterback. Keep it yourself, because we don't indulge in fantasy here. There is no way, absolutely no way, no chance in hell that the Steelers win at Baltimore Sunday with Charlie Batch at quarterback. Go sell stupid somewhere else. We're all filled up here. The Ravens will beat the Steelers. I guarantee damn tits.